Welcome back to SourceFed Nerd, I'm Sam Bastian. Hey, let's go kill Hitler. Oh, sorry, I actually just picked up this nifty new time machine and I wanted to go back in time and fix a few things. What's the arm? It's easy, right? It'll make things better, obviously. But wait a minute, if I kill him, why would I have any reason to go back in time in the first place, right? Wouldn't my whole purpose be wiped away? And if he's erased, is there a possibility of something even worse taking his place? Oh God, this is a damn mess. With time travel, there's always the possibility of a paradox or a contradiction in the timeline. At least some scientists feel that way. I've always been a big fan of time travel stories and with so many TV shows and movies dealing with these types of stories, I thought it would be really fun to look into the real life time travel troubles. Many scientists have come up with time travel paradox theories and while none of these are provable at this time, it's fun to think about the possibilities. Also, there might be some ways of fixing these paradoxes. As of right now, there are many popular theories and I want to try to explain a few of these to you so the next time Flash runs back in time to save his mom for the 40th freaking time, he'll feel a little bit smarter knowing the scientific term for his fuck up. Let's kick it off with my personal favorite name for a paradox, the Let's Kill Hitler paradox, or what I would like to call the Let's Kill Hitler conundrum. The basic premise is that someone, let's say it's you, wanted to go back in time and kill this monster of a human being. The only problem is, if you kill or stop the reason for going back in time, then your past self would no longer have the motivation to go back in time in the first place, because it now has never existed. But if you were somehow able to succeed with your assassination, things still might be worse off. Many people believe that our timeline is self-healing, so even though you stopped Hitler, maybe someone else rises to power and creates a similar future to the one that you left, or it could possibly be even worse. Next up, we have the grandfather paradox. This is similar to the let's kill Hitler paradox, but on a smaller scale, and you might actually know the answer to this paradox thanks to Futurama. Cut to a clip. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't even exist. But I do exist which proves you can't really be my grandma. Mm. This theory states that you can't go back in time and kill your own grandfather, pretty self-explanatory. Same reasoning as let's kill Hitler, most scientists believe that our timeline is again, self-healing, and it will either prevent you from killing that old bastard because you still exist, technically, or the timeline will let it happen anyways. Not through magic, but circumstances may have changed, so now your granddad may have deposited some sperm into a bank, or your grandma might already be carrying your mom or dad. Or you might just be living a lie and that really isn't your grandfather. She's my grandmother. Who's my grandfather? Isn't it obvious? You are. Ah! Think about that for a second while I move on to another paradox, the butterfly effect. The butterfly effect outlines that if one were to travel back in time, no matter how careful they may be, they would drastically change the future just by being there. The classic tale from Ray Bradbury, The Sound of Thunder, explains it best. It tells the tale of some time-traveling tourists that traveled to the time of dinosaurs to go hunting, but right before a massive extinction. So as long as they kill the exact animals that were meant to die and never leave their levitating path that allows them to not affect their environment, they won't change the future drastically. However, things take a turn for the worse when one of the individuals accidentally slips slips off the path and steps on a butterfly. That butterfly now doesn't affect the animals and plants that it was supposed to. That could lead to something dying off, to maybe cutting off an entire lineage of a species, which could lead to the complete deletion of the Krispy Kreme franchise from the present day America. It is a nightmare. But not as much of a nightmare as the bootstrap paradox, which you've seen in countless movies, most notably Terminator. Something from the future comes to the past, whether it be an item, a person, or just information, which is then sent back in time from the future so that this time loop can continue. However, in these stories, where did the original item or even the idea for sending these things back in time come from? In Terminator, we're just supposed to accept that this time loop was always supposed to happen and Kyle Reese was always supposed to come back in time and help create his future commanding officer. There is a fix to this kind of where before you send whatever that item is back in time, you create it organically and the loop is sustainable, kinda. Confusing, I know. Doesn't really apply to babies like in Terminator. In my last personal favorite one, how about the predestination paradox? That things are always as they should be, and if you go back in time and try to change the past, you in turn end up helping cause the things that you were trying to stop. 12 Monkeys, that movie does the best job of explaining that. In this scenario, time travel is possible, but you can't change anything because everything will work out as it should. Why? Because. Uh, now with all this information and scary tales of time travel troubles, is there a way to correct these paradoxes or will they self-heal like I mentioned earlier or will they just exist as mistakes and we just have to deal with it? The real answer is we don't know because currently time travel is impossible, but it's fun to think about. The other more interesting answer starts to play with the multiverse. The mini world theory states that if you go back in time and change something, this new world would exist in a separate universe from the one you originally lived in. And it's pretty cool. The more depressing scenario is when you travel back in time and you succeed, you completely erase the previous timeline you were from and now you have to live with the notion that you can never return to your real home. But 
What do you guys think? Which of these paradoxes was your favorite? Do you think that time travel is possible? Or better yet, do you think it's already happened? Berenstain, Ber Berenstain, whatever. And you're probably asking yourself, Sam, there were a couple of time anomalies in previous Source Fit Nerd news videos. Whatever happened to that? Who whatever are you? you do, you have to look. Oh God, oh my God, oh my God, you do have to remember never to do that. Whoa. What was that about? I don't know, they should have talked faster. My vote, self-healing. Everything is okay and no one should worry at all about how calm I am. But like this video, comment down below, share, and subscribe. I'm Sam Basher, stay safe time travelers, and I'll see you next time. You know what, let's go test out one of those paradoxes, shall we? No, don't do it! No. Oh. oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Oh, God. Welcome back to Source Fed Nerd. I'm Sam Bastian. Hey, let's go kill Hitler. Does this just boil down to a blondes versus redhead thing, or is one character truly better? Marvel and ABC are developing an eight episode miniseries for one of their properties that'll be shot entirely in IMAX, and then the first two episodes are going to be released in theaters?